To add a device automatically, tap add device or the plus icon in the top right hand corner and then click add device. The screen will then display various different Miko products. There will also be a section at the top where your phone will be searching for nearby devices. In this instance, we're adding the Miko Dry Arite 2 20 litre. So we're going to click add when it is shown here. You will then need to enter your Wi-Fi details. And once the device has been connected, you can select done. To add a device manually via Wi-Fi, tap add device or the plus icon in the top right hand corner and then select add device. You will then need to choose your product. In this instance, we're adding the Miko Dry Arite 2 20 litre. Then you're going to need to follow the on-screen instructions on the app. First, you need to turn on the device, ensuring it has been turned off for at least 10 seconds. Then you hold the smart laundry button for 5 seconds. This is the button with the t-shirt on it. Look out for the bell indicator blinking on the display. Once this is done, you will need to enter your Wi-Fi information by selecting your Wi-Fi network and entering the password. And then once the device has been added, select done. To add a device manually via Bluetooth, tap add device or the plus icon in the top right hand corner and then select add device. Choose your product. It will then take you to this screen. In the top right hand corner, select easy mode and then change it to Bluetooth. You then need to follow the on-screen instructions in the app. First you turn on the device, ensuring it has been turned off for at least 10 seconds. Then you hold the smart laundry button for 5 seconds. This is the button with the t-shirt on it. Look out for the bell indicator blinking on the display. You will need to confirm this in the app. Follow the on-screen instructions where you'll enter your Wi-Fi information. And once the device has been connected, select done. If multiple users want to control the device, you can all use the same login details. But if this isn't possible, go to the control panel, tap the settings icon in the top right corner and select share device. Enter the email address of the account you want to share and select done. That device will then be shared with that person via email. To activate smart humidity mode, click the button with the three dots. This opens a list of all the different available modes. Select Smart Humidity Mode. You can adjust your humidity target with the plus and minus buttons in the app. To activate Smart Laundry Mode, click the button with the three dots. This will open a list with all the different available modes. Select Smart Laundry Mode. The timer will automatically be set to 6 hours. However, you can adjust this between 1 and 24 hours. To activate night mode, click the button with the three dots. This opens a list of all the different available modes. Then you're going to select night mode. If you want to come out of night mode, click the button with the three dots. Select night mode again and then select your required mode. This will take you out of night mode. To activate air purifying mode, click the button with the three dots. This opens a list of all the different available modes. Select air purifying mode. To set the off timer, first ensure that the device is turned on. Then select the timer off button in the app. Select the desired number of hours for the timer. The time will be shown in the centre of the screen. To cancel the timer, tap the timer off button and click cancel. To set the on timer, first ensure that the device is turned off. Then select the timer on button in the app. Select the desired number of hours for the timer. To cancel the timer, tap the timer on button and click 
cancel. Activate the child lock by selecting child lock. The button will turn green when the child lock is active. This will disable all other buttons until the child lock is deactivated by selecting that button again. Routines can be set up by selecting routine at the bottom of the page. You can set routines based on when the weather changes or you can set a schedule. When setting a schedule, you can select what days of the week you'd like the schedule to repeat. You can also set the time of day you'd like the schedule to start. For example, 5 p.m. Once the trigger has been set, you can select what you would like the machine to do. In this case, we want the machine to turn on. We also want to set the target humidity to 55%. And we also want the machine to be in smart humidity mode. With the triggers and tasks set, we now name our routine to save it. You can activate and deactivate the routine by using the slider tool. To delete a routine, click on the routine, go to more settings, select delete, and then confirm. To activate voice control, go to the control panel, tap the settings icon, and choose Alexa or Google. Alternatively, select account on the home page and then select Alexa or Google to link your accounts. Sign into your account to link your Alexa or Google Assistant. Access settings from the account page by tapping the hexagon symbol in the top right hand corner. Here you can manage your account and security. You can change your account email address and you can also change your account password. If you want to delete your account, you can do this here. If you want the app to be in a different language, then you can change it here. You will need to restart the app for the change to occur. You can also update your privacy settings. Miko's privacy policy is also available here. If you encounter issues, clear the cache and log out, or reinstall the app if necessary. And that's it. You've now got all the basics to start using the Miko app. Don't forget to explore all the features and to customize your settings to suit your needs. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more helpful tutorials.